And in a Newswatch 12 update, St. Timothy's Church went to federal court today in their fight against the city of Brookings. If you don't remember, this lawsuit is in response to the city limiting the amount of social services that the church was able to provide to the homeless. This federal court case comes after the city ordered the church to stop and denied their appeal. Newswatch 12's Rocky Walker is at the Medford Courthouse right now where this proceeding took place and you're actually currently standing with Pastor Bernie Lindley with St. Timothy's Church. Rocky, what can you tell us? Well, Tim, I'm here in front of the federal courthouse in downtown Medford. Uh, the court proceedings actually just looks like they just ended. I'm actually joined with Pastor Bernie uh, of St. Timothy's Episcopal Church uh, in Brookings. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Well, thank you for having me, Rocky. And I wanted to ask you, first and foremost, could you say a little bit about what today was? Yeah, so today was our chance to uh, argue for a motion for summary judgment to uh, to have uh, this course, this case uh, not bother to go to trial because we believe that our case is so strong that it should just be settled now. And how do we think it went inside there? You just came out. What what were the emotions like? How do we feel? I was really pleased with our legal representation. Our case was articulated very well. I think the judge was receptive to what our our lawyer had to say the Department of Justice was present. There was a lawyer that flew out from Washington, D.C. to uh, in support of our case as well. And uh, I think it was compelling. And uh, could you talk a little bit about, you know, going federal is kind of almost a last legs with it when it comes to this. So could you tell me a little bit about how it got to this point? Well, it's because uh, we felt that our First Amendment right to freely practice our faith was being infringed upon. So it was a violation of our federal rights. You know, the Constitution, it's a constitutional case. So it was appropriate for it to be heard in federal court. And what what's next? What are we looking forward to? What's the next part of this process? Well, here... Maybe in a couple of weeks. We don't know how long exactly, but uh, here very soon, uh, the judge will issue a ruling, um, presumably in our favor, we expect. And uh, the uh, ordinance that's been put against us to prevent us from uh, feeding people um, as many times as we need to feed them. Uh, we, we were going to be limited. They were going to change it from, uh, to, they were, we were going to be limited two days a week or three days a week, but we feed people four days a week. And uh, so to limit our ability to feed people goes absolutely, because it's a, that's how we practice our faith. That's how we express our religion is through feeding people in addition to other ways. And uh, so, you know, we'll get this uh, ordinance um, set aside so that we can uh, not have to be worried that we're going to be constrained in our in our feeding well ministry. thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me right now uh, make sure to stay tuned for news watch 12 at 5 and 6 i'll give you all a little bit more of a look into the path that took uh this case to get to this point uh but for now reporting live in medford rocky walker news watch 12.